What's up everybody, Paul Hickey here with your data-driven daily tip coming to you from beautiful Thompson Station, Tennessee today. We're gonna talk about Facebook Ads Manager and two sort of confusing metrics that exist in the back end of Facebook Ads Manager. Now it's critical that you look at the right one. So what is the difference between website conversion value and website purchase conversion value? Well, I kid that it's a heart attack initially. You see, when you go in and analyze the performance of your Facebook ads in terms of generating sales to your e-commerce website, you need to go in and click on the blue plus icon to the right of your columns, click modify columns, and then there's always two columns that you need to add. One is return on ad spend, and the other is website purchase conversion value. Now, if you add website conversion value, you will see sort of a default setting from your Facebook tracking pixel that puts like kind of an arbitrary value on all conversions on your website, but not necessarily just the purchases. So it's critical that you go to website purchase conversion value to see exactly what your return on ad spend is for your Facebook ads. Thanks for listening on Alexa. Thanks for watching on YouTube or IGTV or listening on the podcast, whether it's Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, or Spotify. This has been your data-driven daily tip. For more information, go to dataoveropinions.com. And if you don't have our Alexa skill yet, go to datadrivendaily.com on your mobile device or desktop device to pick it up. Again, I'm Paul Hickey. Have a great day.